Hey guys, we're doing a video on the 10 coolest features on the Mustang Mach-E, um, check it out. So I think number one, and this is in no particular order, but the door handles are super cool. Um, if you look at the front ones, it has a little button and everyone gets super confused when they try to open the door. Um, it is a little bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty cool. Um, it has a little button and then it has a little lip, as you can see here, and you just press the button and pull the lip open. And there you go. The back ones are actually a lot easier to use. It just has the button. Uh, press the button. And then you stick your hand in here. And the door is open. I don't know. It looks a lot cleaner without that tiny little lip thing on there. But still pretty cool. Different than the uh, Tesla and all the other door handles. So, All right. So the number two coolest feature, I think, is the sequential headlights and taillights. It is pretty awesome. I mean, if you look... pretty cool how they come out like that um i don't know what the first mustang was that had the sequentials on them but i feel like every mustang after that you know it's always a mod to like have sequential tail lights and actually the front lights have the same thing All right, so the third coolest part has to be the frunk. Um, you can actually open it from your phone on the Ford Pass app, or you can just use the little lever old school wise. Yeah, you have to do that twice. And pretty cool, has a bunch of storage space. And it's actually, they turned it into a cooler. You can see the little cup holders here and the drain plug. And that way you can just, you know, throw some beverages or whatever you want to put in there. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Number four on the list is the really cool uh, projection light that comes out when you get close to the car at night. Um, so I'll put in a uh, video so you can see what it looks like at night. But basically there's a pony that projects onto the ground here. Um, it's a little bit extra, but pretty cool. Just so you can remind yourself that you're driving a Mustang. But uh, there's a yeah projection that comes out with a big bright pony logo on it all right so getting into the inside of the car i think the number five coolest feature is the panoramic roof and when we get in here you can check it out pretty big open glass roof it doesn't retract or anything like that to let in uh outside air but still pretty cool it makes the car feel a lot more spacious more open uh one thing about the glass roof it's not available on the select which is like the base model um, it has to either be like a premium trim or a gt trim in order to get the glass roof pretty cool feature i mean not absolutely necessary especially if you live somewhere that's super hot it'll let in more heat than if it's just a metal roof but still pretty cool feels pretty spacious in here with it Number six on the list of coolest features on the Mustang Mach-E has to be the gigantic 15.5 inch screen on the center console. And yes, they did kind of copy Tesla, which is fine. Tesla is kind of like the benchmark for uh, giant screens in cars right now. Uh, and everyone's copying them, but they did it a little bit differently. They mounted it vertically versus Tesla has uh, kind of like the horizontal uh, mounting. And I'll put a side by side just so you guys can see the comparison of that. Um, but I think it's super cool. It's giant. And uh, one of the complaints on the uh, Tesla is that it doesn't have a... Uh, actual volume knob so i guess ford listened to uh all the people complaining about that and put an actual analog uh volume knob on the screen number seven coolest feature on the list has to be the customizable ambient lighting i know a lot of cars nowadays like the mercedes s-class e-class um mercedes in general and bmws like they have the customizable ambient lighting and they have 
giant leds running around all the dashboard and stuff but i still think it's pretty cool that they put it on the mach e uh in order to get to it you have to go to settings on the giant screen um you scroll all the way down to ambient lighting and then you can actually customize the color of the light that you want and then how bright you want it and this is what it looks like at nighttime. You can change all the different colors. You got blue, you have orange, you have red, you have green. And then you can also change the intensity of it. But pretty cool that it's customizable. I know it's not really a uh, super new thing, but pretty cool that they added that feature onto the car. Number eight on the list of super cool features on the Mach-E has to be Blue Cruise. And Blue Cruise is uh, kind of like a cruise control, but it's hands-free. And it's actually one of the main reasons we purchased this car, aside from it being a really cool Mustang, uh, because you can actually drive hands-free on most highways in the U.S. And my wife has a super long commute to work on the highway, and uh, it's super helpful for her to use this on the highway while she's commuting. So here's the Blue Cruise feature and you can see me with my hands clearly not on the wheel. It's uh, pretty cool because it helps with fatigue, especially with like long commutes or long road trips. And you don't have to be paying as much attention and, you know, making all those little micro adjustments while you're driving that tire you out over hours. Uh, so we actually just took a road trip, about a four hour road trip, and it was fantastic using the Blue Cruise because you get to your destination and you're a lot less fatigued and tired otherwise you would be a lot more tired if you had to actually be driving the car the ninth coolest feature on the mustang mach -E has to be the amount of cameras that it has on it so not only does it have a super cool 3d camera when you put it into reverse you can see your entire surroundings um so that's pretty cool but then on top of that let's say for example i'm coming into a parking spot let me reverse a little bit here so that way we can come back in and i can show you guys so say there's a ledge and you're coming into a parking spot as you're getting close and it actually doesn't do it until you're getting super close but as you're getting closer and closer it'll actually notify you that way you don't mess up your front bumper that you're getting close and it'll Wait for it. No. There it is. Okay, so it'll actually show you a front facing camera and it'll show you the uh it'll show you some sensors as well telling you when you're about to uh, make impact. And then the tenth coolest feature on the Mustang Mach E, I think has to be the using your phone as a key feature i hate carrying around keys so this is actually awesome and i love it i actually don't even carry a wallet like if you see on my phone i just have my credit cards and that's it this is my wallet um, but the uh, phone is key feature is really cool you do have to have your bluetooth turn on for it to work but basically you just download the ford pass app and then once you go in there it'll actually have all the uh, details on the car you can start it from the app unlock it lock it you can uh, open up the frunk, the trunk, the horn lights. Um, but once you have your Bluetooth turned on, as soon as you get close to the car, it'll actually unlock it for you. And then you just press the button and get in. Pretty cool. And you don't have to carry any keys, which is the best part. So there you guys have it. Those are the 10 coolest features, in my opinion, about the Mustang Mach-E. I've had the car about a month now. And I think those are some really cool features that Ford has integrated into it. Uh, out of all of them, I think my favorite feature has to be the Blue Cruise just because, again, it makes road trips so much easier and then commutes. If you have a commute that you're on the highway, it's just so much easier to not have to have your hands on the wheel and you can just relax a little bit more. Um, it's not 100% autonomous, but hey, it's better than just driving the car yourself. So I, it's, it's making progress, so that's awesome. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature is on the new Mustang Mach-E. And if you have a Mach-E, what are some cool features that I didn't put in this video that you think are cooler than the ones I put? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.